Hi, I'm back again. My name is Dylan and I am starting to make more videos about my autism and anxiety. I, I don't know why I have fallen off with not making these videos or fallen off with making these videos. I, I don't know, but I, I just haven't been making very many videos this year. I don't really know why I, I got this new camera. It's working great for me and I'm also not currently working. Uh, that's going to be related to this video. Uh, but since I have no job, I have a lot of time to make videos. And I also have ideas for videos. But, I don't know, I just don't do it. I guess it's because I'm more of a, a spectator. I more often observe stuff happening rather than make stuff happen. I, I think that's the problem. But I'm doing a video right now, so that's good. And this year I have been watching a lot of public domain media. I, I know that sounds kind of weird. All started when the Mickey Mouse cartoon Steamboat Willie went into the public domain uh, at the beginning of this year and since then I've just gone down this rabbit hole of public domain short films and feature films. Yeah, I'm, I'm still watching uh, public domain videos. Yeah, yeah, and I've gone all the way back to the beginning of cinema at the turn of the century. And I love watching old movies and watching something that just astonished me and I'm so amazed at how they did that without computers or green screen or CGI or any really visual effects. Uh, a lot of time it, it still holds up over a hundred years ago. I, I love uh, just watching those types of things. Now for this video I uh, want to talk about my experiences trying to get into the media field, uh, what I've been going through recently. Uh, I have been trying to be more selective with the jobs that I apply for so I'm not just like going back into a, a customer service type of job or another warehouse job where it's just the uh, uh, same old thing I've done before and that leads to burnout again. Just don't want to do that again. Yeah, I have applied for some jobs that are at least, if not in the media field, but uh, uh, I guess adjacent to it. Like I've uh, applied to live theater uh, positions, you know, like, like Broadway type theaters where I would be a part of the crew and helping to set up for performances and yeah, set up equipment and take it down and which yeah, I, I did a little bit of that in high school. It's kind of actually my first media job where I would operate the lights for performances in, in our uh, high school auditorium. So yeah, that's kind of where I first started, I guess. And also I've just been applying to jobs that aren't in the media field but just sound different than what I've done before. I've had quite a few job interviews since I left my old job but I, I just haven't been able to land any of the jobs for you know whatever reason. Like one of the, the things that I do if I don't get a job I will send an email to the person I interviewed with and in the email I you know thank them for the interview and uh, also ask them to give me feedback on uh, 
my performance, I guess, and my interview, and maybe why they decided not to hire me. Yeah, stuff like that. I just send it out, and yeah, yeah, it's actually a, a good thing to do. And if they don't respond, then it's not like anything can happen. I already didn't get the job, so <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> the the worst thing they can do is just not respond, which has happened. And uh, I did hear back from one. But the email they sent back to me was like mostly positive and even though that's good, can you give me like some constructive feedback of what I did wrong so I can work on that? <laughs> That'd be helpful and instead of just giving me the positive. Yeah. And also I've had mostly interviews that are over the phone or over a webcam that was called like I don't know video interviews on my computer I, I've done well the n not video phones on my <laughs> I mean well not video interviews on my phone but talk interviews on my phone <laughs> yeah that's mainly what I've done with a, a couple of in-person interviews but it seems like now job interviews since the pandemic have moved to I, I guess distant interviews no longer in person which you know it, it works for me then I can actually have like some answers written out and in front of me that I, I can read off of like like a script I guess yeah had that for uh, my phone interviews and the video interviews. And, you know, I, video interviews, I kind of have to like, look down, but not make it obvious, <laughs> and then answer the question. Or also, I have been using AI. I've, I've done that before the interview starts, like just type out some questions I've been asked in job interviews before, and type it into uh, chat G T P or uh, another one I found is called Pi P I dot A I. See what AI says. I won't read the answer verbatim from AI because you know it, it just sounds too robotic, I guess. But I will like you Use use a piece of it and uh, come up with an, my own answer from what the um, the AI program gave me. So <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And another thing, uh, I found that when I talk on the phone, I'm well talk on the phone with strangers. I'm pacing back and forth all over my apartment and just kind of just walking when. Uh, the interview is going and I'm on the phone. This is how I make a phone with my hand. Because I'm a millennial. I'm a middle-aged millennial. Yeah, but... Yeah, I've noticed this when I have to talk on the phone with a stranger. Like for a job interview or just calling up customer service. I will be pacing back and forth and can't sit still, I, I think is part of my anxiety. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I just get this feeling that I have to move. I, I don't know, or maybe I just have restless leg syndrome. <laughs> but I, yeah, I just think it's uh, connected to my generalized anxiety. That, that's really what it is. So I haven't gotten any job yet. Uh, there were some jobs that I interviewed for, which I'm glad I didn't get the job because uh, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. There, there was this one where it was a video interview and there was one person interviewing a, a small group of uh, potential employees, including me, and the job turned out to be, I guess, more like a, a marketing job 
advertisement, corporate job, and uh, I'm just sitting there listening to all this, uh, what the, the guy says about the job description, and I'm just like, oh, this is not for me. I don't want this job. Can I just leave now? <laughs> but I, I didn't hear back from them, so uh, yeah, that's good, and I wasn't expecting to. But there were other jobs I was hoping to get that I didn't hear back from. And once again, I, I don't know why. I just got to keep trying. I also want to, like I said, get a job that I haven't done before, so I'm not doing the same job over and over again. But what I don't want to do is get another customer service job or retail job. But because I have experience in those types of jobs and uh, I get offers from these uh, job websites that I signed up for and I, I get emails about job openings that are in customer service or retail. But I don't want to do those types of jobs, but because I have experience in uh, those areas, then I get those email offers. Yeah, so how can I just get experience in that other type of job so I can get offers from the type of job that I want? Huh? I don't know, but I'm gonna need a job pretty soon because my bank account has been going down. It's not at zero. I, I still have plenty of money in there, but it's dropping uh, a, a little bit faster than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's just how it goes. And yeah, I, I know my parents can help me out if I need to, but I don't want to rely on them forever. So yeah, I'm, I need a job. Well, I need money and I need a job to get money. And I want a job that I would like to do. So yeah. That's where I'm at. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, every time I have a job interview, it doesn't feel like I'm confident. Uh, maybe that's my anxiety. I don't know. And I, it's not like I can ask anyone else because all these job interviews are with uh, a different person. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing better than, than I think I am. But so far, I haven't in the job so it doesn't seem like I'm doing it any better but I'll just have to see what happens so yeah that's gonna be it for this video uh, until next time goodbye